for being here. In today's video, I decided I would do a get to know me tag video. A lot of you don't even know who I am, where I'm from, all that stuff. So that's what I'm going to go over today. Um, this makeup look I did film, so it will be up. I will go ahead and link it down below. And if you are new to my channel, go ahead and subscribe right over here or over here. Not really sure where it is. Um, but go ahead and subscribe so that way you won't miss out on any of my content. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this video so you can get to know me. <laughs> That was really cheesy. Question number one, what is your middle name? Funny story, I don't have a middle name. My mom just never gave me one. My name is just Jennifer. And then my last name, and that's it. <laughs> my last name is actually my married last name. I just got married May of 2017, and that's when I changed my name. Number two, what is your favorite color? Red, it's like a dark passionate red it's almost like this color it's like a dark passionate red this is more of a berry but it's in the same family just like a dark dark red my second favorite color is probably rose gold yeah <laughs> red and rose gold and that's funny because my wedding colors were going to be dark red but then it was actually on the beach it, it was in May so I just decided to do something a little bit lighter, so I went with rose gold. So it was my second favorite. How tall are you? I am 5'2". I'm short, but I like being short because then I can wear high heels and I don't know, I never have the problem of like being too tall. Never, ever, ever, ever. <laughs> Cats or dogs. I've always been a dog person, I've always had dogs. My husband had cats growing up and he wants cats. I'm okay with like, I'm okay with cats now. I used to not like them. Most furry animals, like koalas or, I could go on and on, but um, I don't think I would own a cat. They're just different. And right now we have a dog and his name is King. He is a Doberman Pinscher, and he's a big boy. He's so smart and so funny. I love him. What is your zodiac sign? I'm a Gemini. My birthday is June 3rd. I'm definitely a Gemini to a T. I like to work on a million projects at once. I like to do everything, and I want to do everything, and I want to learn everything, and I want to see everything, and you can't stop that. You can't stop me from doing that, and I think that's kind of like, um, a virtue and a flaw at the same time but one thing that I do like is YouTube and something that I've always wanted to do but I never really like got, put myself out there like this before and I'm excited that I've done this because it's something that I really want to work hard at you have to constantly progress in YouTube and you have to constantly like work hard at it because if you don't you're not gonna get anywhere what countries have you visited I have been to Mexico and I'm from the US so I've only been to one country I guess where are you from <laughs> um, I'm from Southern California what is your favorite drink ooh I'll do both my favorite alcoholic beverage I would have to say are mojitos but they have to be done like right I like pineapple blueberry strawberry mango all of those I just like it because it's like so refreshing it's low calorie also I like margaritas Margaritas that I like are like the natural ones like the ones that are made with agave they have like fruit in them you know they're like muddled I love those type of drinks because I like to drink it and then I eat the fruit is that weird and then my non-alcoholic drink I love iced teas I love this is kind of like one of my favorite, like, no-calorie drinks, it's a sparkling water, it's LaCroix, or, La I don't know how you say it, but it's a sparkling water, and it's in mango, and I love it. What is your favorite animal? Ooh. Honestly, I've always wanted a koala, because I think they're so cute, and, like, they're little, they're little, but I heard they were vicious. My husband always calls me his koala bear because he says that I'm cute and cuddly, but I'm, like, super vicious. What is your favorite perfume? Currently, my favorite perfume is the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. It smells so good. It's different. Definitely smells like flowers, and I, I was never really into those 
type of scents, but it smells like clean, fresh, and I like it a lot. I used to be into the Juicy Couture. I still like them, but they're kind of sweet for me. The other one I like is the Flower Bomb. I like that scent. It smells really, really good. Tea or coffee? Um, both, but I've been drinking a lot of coffee lately. Green tea kombucha every single day. Um, without any creamer or any sugar. I can drink I can drink tea without any sugar. Um, but lately I've just been drinking coffee. Like coffee, 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 coffee. With uh, vanilla almond milk. Ooh, yum. What would you have named your children? I'm not going to tell you yet. I already have them in my head. I know. I don't want anybody to steal my ideas, okay? <laughs> just kidding. What sports do you play? Have you played? No. And no. I'm not a sports person. I don't really like watch sports. No. My favorite book it's called The Four Agreements. It's a really good book. I recommend it to everybody. It's a spiritual book, but it really helps you understand that nothing that someone does to you is your fault or is about you. It's more about them. Like if someone's attacking you or if someone is jealous of you, it's really not about you. It's more about them. Like they're trying to figure out their own life. Okay, the four agreements are number one, be impeccable with your word. Meaning like if you're going to, if you say you're going to do something, like follow through with it. Don't take anything personally. Like I said, if somebody does something to you, it's not about you. Don't take it personally. It's really more about them. Don't make assumptions. I mean, the whole chapter is about um, if somebody says something and you take it the wrong way, do not assume that's what they meant Like because it could be misinterpreted. So always ask questions. Like be, be upfront with people and always do your best. So let's go over it again. Be impeccable with your word. Don't take anything personally. Don't make assumptions and always do your best. That is an amazing book. It's very inspiring and I recommend it to everybody. I'll try to link it down below. What are some of your favorite bloggers and YouTubers? I already said this in my last video, but I love uh, I love Sarai because she's so like down to earth. I don't like YouTubers that are like, you can tell they just want to be famous. Carly Bybell because she's very like real and she's very inspiring. She's not like out flaunting all the stuff that she has. I like Jaclyn Hill. Jacqueline Hill to an extent sometimes it's like too much um, and then smaller youtubers I'm I'm really getting into like a lot of smaller youtubers I, I have a lot that I like um, I like funny youtubers I don't just watch beauty videos I watch like funny stuff too what is your favorite movie okay this one's hard I have a lot of favorite movies three that stick out the most number one I think will always be clueless I used to watch that when I was like, I don't know if I was in middle school or high school, but I used to watch it every single day religiously. Like it was like my everyday thing. I would come home, pop the movie in and watch it. I know the, I still know the whole movie by heart. Like I can make a whole YouTube video of that movie just quoting everything from start to finish. I know the whole movie by heart. Two other movies I know by heart. The other one is How to Lose a Guy in 10 Days. I love Kate Hudson, like any movie that she's in, I'm going to watch it because I think she's so funny and she's like so down to earth and chill. I love that. Um, and the third one is Devil Wears Prada. Yeah, The Devil Wears Prada. I love that movie. Um, oh, I have so many Sex in the City, both Sex in the City movies. I know those by heart. Um, Bride Wars, Bridesmaids. I like all those girly movies and I wish that they made more movies like that but they don't anymore so I'm like constantly watching the same ones over and over again. Um, I don't just have one. Sorry. You can't make me choose. Like these kind of these kind of questions of like what's your favorite whatever this is not a Gemini type question. Like Geminis can't decide. Gemini is like everything. What kind of genre? Do you mean funny? Do you mean romantic comedy? Do you mean like what do you mean? When I go to the movie that only pick movies that are funny or maybe action but mostly funny like I just want to laugh. I don't want to watch a scary movie, I don't want to watch a drama, I don't want to cry, I don't want to be scared, like I just want to laugh. I don't want to pay $20 and be scared. I don't want to pay $20 and be depressed. You know what I mean? Like I don't want that. I want to, I want, I want to enjoy my time. I want to have a good time. Are you single or taken? I am taken and I'm married. What's your current hair color? A blonde. I actually went to go get my hair done a couple weeks ago. I had like an ombre thing going on it was kind of like grown out it was like six eight months grown out and I went in I just told her I don't want that ombre look anymore I don't want like my ends to look 
too blonde I want it to be kind of like more cohesive and I want highlights throughout and I want like I want this to be broken up so I don't want it to be like a balayage which I guess it, it kind of is a balayage but it's a different type of balayage favorite season summer because there's there's so much like there's so many events going on there's just like the weather's so much better um less traffic because kids are not in school i like wearing dresses more i like the outfits that you get to pick in summer especially like summer nights i love summer nights do you speak any different languages and how well um my parents really only speak spanish like when i see them i speak spanish to them um and my suegros i speak spanish to them i have thought about making a spanish youtube channel but i don't think i'm not like that that good so I would need some help. I'd be calling my mom being like, Mom, como se dice? Makeup brush. <laughs> Do you have any siblings? Yes. I have two brothers and a sister, and I'm the youngest. I'm the baby. How would you describe your fashion sense? Like boho chic. Maybe boho chic. Kind of like hippie meets glam. Doesn't make sense, huh? Your favorite restaurant? I love the Cheesecake Factory, the Yard House, fancy restaurants. Mastro's is delish. Love the Catal restaurant there, and Napa Rose. Those are good. Napa Rose for drinks and appetizers, and Catal for the ahi tuna. Oh my god, so good. Seared ahi, delish. What are some of your favorite? TV shows. So I started watching the Jersey Shore. Did you guys watch it? That one was good. My husband and I like have been watching like series. We've just been hooked on everything. Let me just tell you what we like. Oh, one show that I've been like so obsessed with and I wish they had another season, but I guess um, Netflix had canceled it. They didn't have a second season is Girl Boss. You guys have to watch it. It's so good. Like, it's so good. I've watched it twice already. And it's only, it's just one season. I think it's like 20 episodes or 18 episodes. I'm not really sure. They're like 20 minutes long. But they're so good. And I really wish that Netflix would have another season. Because it's a really good show. I, the actress in that show is so good. Let me know if you did watch it. How you like it. On Amazon, there's a show called Sneaky Pete. It's so good. Um, Shameless by Showtime. So good, but so so crazy we're only on the seventh season we haven't ca caught up to the eighth season um oh my god there's so many um the office parks and rec stranger things but i really like stranger things unbreakable kimmy schmidt that one's really funny but it's weird but it's it's weird but it's really funny we mostly watch like netflix and amazon because every single time i try to we have cable and we really don't use it I usually just record movies on there and that's about it like i don't really watch cable that much i was really excited to see the jersey shore vacation i didn't even know that they were coming out with it until last week i was like oh my god this is so exciting and i loved it it was two hours long and i was cracking up the whole time snooki makes the show i love snooki she's so hilarious so hilarious what kind of phone do you have? I have an iPhone 7. What ethnicity am I? My parents were born and raised in Mexico and I'm from the US. So I am Mexican American, Hispanic, one of those. If you guys have any questions or want to know anything else, please leave the comments down below. I can go ahead and do another like question and answer video or if you guys have an idea of any um, type of video that you would like me to do, please let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that I answer anything that you were wondering. If you have any other questions, please leave them down below. Thank you so much for being here. And if you want to see how I achieved this makeup look, the link should be down below. And thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Thumbs up if you like this video. And I will see you in the next one.